Hi, this is a quick tutorial on the binding process of the avionic O-link module. What we have here is a Futaba 22 MHz, uh, which is a T6 uh, radio. We also have a ESC, which is an avionic 60 amp. We've got a RZ6 receiver, which will bind to the uh, module later. We also have a uh, servo, which I will show you what we are going to do with the servo later. And of course, uh, we've got a LiPo, which will tolerate this receiver. Now, let me just go ahead and open the pack and see what comes across with this entire pack of the Allink module. In this pack, you will see you will get the Avionic Allink module. You get two separate connectors. One is for Futaba, one is and the other one is for JR and uh, Spectrum. You will get the antenna separately, which you will have to go ahead and fix it on your own. Now proceed with this process of tightening up the antenna securely to the module. Now if you look closely to the module, you will see certain slots. Coming to this slot, go ahead and pick up the Futaba connector. And you will see that these connectors match. Please go ahead and push this side of the connector into the link. And of course the other side goes across on the Futaba transmitter. Yeah, this is a place. Then go ahead and uh, attach the other end of the connector to this Futaba transmitter. Let's go ahead and see if the module is getting uh, power from the transmitter. Go and switch on the transmitter. You will see the lights blinking. That's fantastic. Now switch off the transmitter. Now at this point of time, press the, there's a small button there, a setup button, go ahead and press it and then switch on the transmitter. And you will see a red light and then a green light and release the hand. Yes, now you can see the series of blinks of red and green coming out. That means to say that this entire process of binding has started and the module is asking the receiver to get bound. Now pick up the avionic RZ6 receiver go ahead and uh, also fix the servo so that we can see if it is working or not now at this point of time let's go ahead and power up the receiver too now the whole process as some of you have already know is go ahead and press the bind button on the rz6 receiver and at the same time power it up and within a second just remove it yeah you can see the blink and it goes off fantastic that means to say it is bound Pull out the power, switch off the transmitter, switch it on again. Now give power to the receiver, then the LED should be steady. Yeah, it's steady now, that means this is bound. Let's go ahead and move the stick. Super. So that means to say the uh, avionic on link has got bound to the RZ6 receiver. You can fix the avionic link at the back side of the transmitter using a velcro. So that's it guys. This is a very easy way to convert your 72 megahertz uh, Futaba to a 2.4 gigahertz radio. Thank you.